Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. We're sitting here on New Year's Eve and we wanted to tell you guys about our New Year's resolution. We like to do this each year for five years now mm -hmm. and I really enjoy it. We all know that this year has been a rather different year. For some of us, far more difficult than for others, but I still think that this year there was a lot to be learned and that's always a good thing and I would definitely encourage you guys to also do New Year's resolutions a little bit cliche but I find it helpful and interesting and we already did a video on how to set appropriate goals or New Year's resolution so this is my boyfriend Johannes <laughs> and hi <laughs> <laughs> And we are drinking a lemonade made from aronia berries. Mm -hmm. Aronia berries. And these are actually kind of like a good cause, for a good cause drink. I know it's like, it's a local farm. Close to a here. A local organic farm where they live and work, disabled people. And we support something locally. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's good, mm -hmm. I like it. It's really good. Okay, so you start with your New Year's resolution. I made a list of 12 habits, so to say, that I want to establish or continue into, uh, in 2021. Mm -hmm. And I also wrote down some goals that I would like to achieve. Mm -hmm. So I start with the habits. I want to uh, work out every day, do at least like 10 minutes of yoga on the easy days and like calisthenics on the other days mm -hmm. or go for a run. Then I want to meditate every day for 10 to 20 minutes. I want to uh, read for one to two hours a day. That's quite a lot. Then I want to uh, write in my journal every day and even if it's just like one sentence what I did in the day just to keep the habit. Mm -hmm. um, then I want to eat a completely plant-based whole foods diet and try to eat nine a day mm -hmm. four servings of um, fruit and five servings of vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. Would you say we did that last year? Mm, towards the end of the year, um, I think we did it. Mm -hmm. um, then I want to get into nature more often, like go hiking and trekking, camping mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. And try to do something like that um, once a fortnight or so. Mm -hmm. um, then I want to travel and visit some uh, new places we haven't been to um, so far. Hopefully we can do that. Mm. Then I want to try to be more open um, to people and maybe make some new friends. Mm -hmm. um, also want to make more time to have quality time with you. Mm -hmm. I want to t also take more time to be creative, to um, draw or do some photography or writing mm -hmm. and just take time to be by myself and be creative in some mm -hmm. way. Then I want to um, work on something important every day and Try not to procrastinate and like get <laughs> stuff done. Mm -hmm. And I want to practice learning a language every day. Mm -hmm. So those are my habits that I want to focus on. And then I wrote down some goals. And the first goal is to uh, find a good job. Mm -hmm. So I already have an internship for uh, the beginning of the year. And mm -hmm. after that, I want to find a good job. So that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Then I also uh, want to start a side hustle and build an additional income stream. Mm -hmm. And I want to save 70% of my income, at least towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And then I have three more fun goals. I want to be conversationally fluent in French by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be able to do a handstand. <laughs> you can already. Oh, a headstand. You can do a yeah, headstand. I can do a headstand, but not a handstand. Mm -hmm. And I want to learn to uh, juggle with three balls. Mm -hmm. Those are my resolutions for 2021. I would have thought you would have put down something with uh, regards to playing the harmonica. Mm, I don't have specific goals for it. It's just something I do when I want to, mm -hmm. and it's fun. But I don't have any specific goals right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me your resolutions. Well, I don't have quite as many things written down as you, but you always like to write down quite a lot. Yeah. Um, there is something I forgot that I wanted to write down that you did was mm. the thing with being more open with new people mm. and try to make new friends or get to know, I like to get to know 
different types of people. I like yeah. it when um, there is a group where everybody is a little different because we tend to always hang out yeah. in these same circles and I think it's refreshing to get to know more different people. Yeah, it's boring when all your friends are people from work and... It's yeah, more... it's also boring if all your friends are kind of like you, which is yeah. what we tend to gravitate towards. I'm probably not going to look for friends who are the complete opposite of me because that way mm. there would, it's hard to establish a connection, but I really like it when I start up a conversation with someone and they're telling me about the interesting things that they used to do and mm. yeah. I don't know, I like to hear different types of stories. Anyways, <laughs> back to my <laughs> New Year's resolutions. For one, I wanted to keep up my current workout habit. I've kind of managed to establish I'm working out almost every morning. The only times I don't work out in the morning is um, when I either don't feel too well or if I, I'm still sore from the day before. So I wrote down keep up the good workout habit of 20 to 30 minutes each morning and either yoga, pilates, mm -hmm. or a dance workout, which is what I've been doing so far. And then I wrote in brackets swimming. So depending on whether we're able to go swimming or not, I really do miss going swimming. <laughs> then I wrote down, I really want to make sure that we have our regular date nights at mm -hmm. least every second week I think we should we should be able to manage that yeah. and um, then make time for myself or for fun things um, I'm someone that has a hard time not being productive and working and I find myself getting really anxious quickly if I don't make sure I have time where I rest mm. and don't work and I've been pretty good this last month or two months where I took Sundays off. I'm not sure how, how it's going to work with my new work schedule since I'm starting an internship. <laughs> um, but I really want to make sure to at least have half a day where I'm not doing anything productive and just fun things. Um, I wrote down not monetized hobbies because I guess mm -hmm. YouTube is a hobby but it does kind of count as work. So I wrote down things like drawing or baking or I can be creative. Then I want to make time to journal at least once to twice a week. It really helps with process my emotions and events and I just feel more stable I guess when I do that and I'm not just kind of pouring everything <laughs> out onto you. And I want to be less, no, more patient. <laughs> I want to be more patient with I don't know, little things that annoy me, I bet you do, or other people do, <laughs> and um, less judgmental. Sometimes I do catch myself being a little judgmental towards other people or things that other people do, and try to view things in a more empathetic way. And last but not least, I want to try to see my worth not in my work or in my level of productivity. I tend to do that and it's not too great but that's still something I need to figure out how to manage and do so I definitely hope you guys all had a wonderful New Year's or I wish you all a happy new year and if you guys didn't know as of today my book club has launched it is over on patreon and we already have a few members which I'm so excited about the first book of the year in January is going to be atomic habits it's a non-fiction book all about developing good habits that are going to better your life. I'm really excited for this book. I haven't read it yet. And we're going to alternate fiction and non-fiction. We're going to have regular updates over there and downloadable, downloadable worksheets and discussions together. So I'm so excited. So head on over to Patreon if you want to join. I'm excited for this new project. We're going to relax now, watch a movie. We're going to watch Die Hard? Yeah. We watched Die yeah. Hard 1 and 2 on New Year's a few years ago. Yeah, and last year you didn't want to, so we watched Mr. Bean and Staff. Really? I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, we wanted to, or I wanted to watch um, Die Hard last year, but you didn't want to, so we watched Mr. Oh, Bean and Staff. I don't remember. But usually we go hiking in the mountains, mm. but this year with Corona we've stayed here. And but we went hiking. It was more of a walk in the woods, yeah. but... It was nice. Mm -hmm. It was, I fell, I slipped on ice and fell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then when it's time for the countdown, we're going to pop a confetti 
champagne bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gift you got when yeah. you turned 18. I think I was 16. Or 16. So it's already it's like 10 old. years old. <laughs> so we're going to use up that. Do you want to wish the people something? Yeah, I wish you all a happy new year and may 2021 make up for 2020 and be the best year of your life. Cheers. Oh, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> best year of your life. <laughs> May 2021 be better than 2020. Mm -hmm. I hope that we can all learn a lot and grow. That's something that I always view as important, but also that we may all have health and happiness. And we wish you a happy new year and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Happy new year.